This video is a guide for the Metrics tab, what it is, and how to use it. The Metrics tab is a source of raw data, a snapshot in time of values you are keeping an eye on. Unlike a KPI measured priority or a critical number, metrics do not show historical data. It truly is a snapshot into what the number is today. We can connect these metrics to both internal and external to align sources that will allow us to provide a seamless data flow so you can keep an eye on key values. We can build a new metric by selecting the Add Metric button. For this example, we're just gonna name this metric Test1. We can identify the metric owner in the owner box. Metrics will default assign the metric builder as the owner, but we can change that by hitting the X to the right of the owner name and reassigning to the appropriate individual. Metrics also don't require an owner, so we can leave this blank. Down below, we can add a description to identify what specifically it is that we are tracking here. The value section below is where we can edit the value of this particular metric. We will need to enter a value here before we can save the metric. Below the KPI unit, we have the option to integrate this metric with an external source. We can integrate directly with Salesforce using their reports feature, and we can integrate to many other softwares through the third-party software Zapier. The unique identifier outlined here is located back at the top of the build metrics drawer. This will automatically populate as the metric name, but we can further edit it from this box. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to remove the integration from this metric. Let's go ahead and save this metric. Once we have built out our metric, we can connect it to multiple sections within the Align software. Let's start out in the Priorities tab. We can connect this metric to a KPI priority by editing the priority, scrolling down to the Priority Type section, and selecting Metric in the value source. We'll either drop down or type a search for the metric in question, select the appropriate metric, and save the priority. You'll see that the value now has changed from what it was before. It is now getting its value source from the metric itself. We can also connect a critical number directly to a metric. We can do this by editing the critical number and changing the value source to a line metric. Just as before, we then search for the metric, select it, and then save. Once again, you'll see we have a new updated value source in here. Finally, we can connect this metric to a quarterly action or what most people refer to as a quarterly target in the one page strategic plan. We can do this by editing the action in question and changing the value source again to an align metric. We then once again search for the metric, select it, and save. We can see that an icon is added to the right to show that this target is connected to a metric. Connecting metrics to critical numbers is particularly useful if you have multiple team huddles where you want to track the same number but not have to go in and adjust the value in each huddle. Simply connect multiple critical numbers to the one metric and edit the metric value to update the critical numbers in all the different huddles. This also applies to multiple priorities or actions tracking the same number or even a combination of critical numbers, priorities, and actions. You can see all the connections a metric is aligned with in this connections section.